The symbolism of the well and the story of Jack and Jill. Energy is symbolically water. As such, a well is a source of energy. But what is most interesting about this symbol is that the water is being drawn up from below. Water from above is symbolically shown as rain, coming from clouds, which may then come to us by rivers and streams. It is sent to us with fish, the carriers of messages from heaven. And the rivers and streams equate to what are called meridians in traditional Chinese medicine and nadis in the yogic Indian system. But the water from a well is just energy, which is symbolically being drawn up from below, refreshing, life-sustaining, but usually no fish. But in mystic thought, wells are sacred, so something else is happening here. Ramana Maharshi from Sat Darshan As in a well of water deep, dive deep with reason cleaving sharp, with speech, mind and breath restrained. Exploring thus mayest thou discover the real source of the ego self the mind through calm in deep plunge inquiries that alone is real quest for the self the well in the I Ching the I Ching usually translated as book of changes or classic of changes is an ancient Chinese divination text and among the oldest of the Chinese classics. It is based on hexagrams, symbols, also called gua, and there are 64 gua composed of six stacked horizontal lines, where each line is either yang, an unbroken or solid line, or yin, a broken line, with a gap in the middle. Each hexagram is accompanied by a cryptic description. It can be used in two ways, as a means of obtaining straightforward advice about what to do next in a given situation, or as a very coded handbook that helps a person along the spiritual path, making a person divine, a god. And it has a hexagram, number 48, called Jing, the well. The Judgment The Well The town may be changed, but the well cannot be changed. It neither decreases nor increases. They come and go and draw from the well. If one gets down almost to the water, and the rope does not go all the way, or the jug breaks, it brings misfortune. Comet from Richard Philhelm's version of the I Ching. The well is the symbol of that social structure which, evolved by mankind in meeting its most primitive needs, is independent of all political forms. Political structures change as do nations, but the life of man with its needs remains eternally the same. This cannot be changed. If we take Richard Wilhelm's straightforward interpretation, it basically means that it matters not what political or man-made system one is landed with, all the autonomic systems of nature, for example, eating, drinking and sexual intercourse, and the systems of the mind, memory, will, objective setting, five senses, emotions, 
perceptions, etc., will never change. As such, if you want to progress on the spiritual path, it is better to rely on those systems, mind and body manipulation. So we should be concentrating on methods using the natural, autonomic systems of humans, for example, fasting, sensory deprivation and sexual methods as well as methods that manipulate the functions of the mind. For example, squash the big I am, reduce desires, sensory deprivation. Our uniqueness gives us the false impression that we are special, better than other people and more important than anyone else. This is called ego, the big I am. And by going back to the basics of what we have been given as human beings, discarding all the fancy methods that could easily disappear or not work, because remember, if one gets down almost to the water and the rope does not go all the way or the jug breaks, it brings misfortune. We will get our spiritual input. The Kabbalah, Mishnab, Sukha 5, Water Drawing Ceremony The water drawing ceremony was used in very early temple practice. The symbolism of water and wells was used. As such, they could have used fasting, sexual methods, sensory deprivation, even befuddling. The first temple period goes from 1200 to 586 BC. It ended when Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, conquered Jerusalem. The ceremony disappeared with the destruction of this temple. Mishnab Sukha 5 It has been said that anyone who never saw the rejoicing at the water drawing ceremony had never seen true joy in their life. At the end of the first day of the festival, they came down to the woman's courtyard and rearranged the situation. There were golden candelabra atop poles there in the courtyard, and there were four basins made of gold at the top of each candelabrum, and there were four ladders for each and every pole, and there were four children from the priesthood trainees, and in their hands were pitchers of oil that they would pour into each and every basin and the light from the candelabra was so bright that there was not a courtyard in Jerusalem that was not illuminated from the light of the place of the drawing of the water. Pious men and mystics used to dance before them with torches of fire in their hands, chanting songs and praises, and the Levites played on harps, lyres, cymbals, trumpets, and many musical instruments. But this ceremony clearly has little to do with reflection or taking time to find oneself or regain one's focus. As such, we have stumbled across another meaning of the well, and to understand this meaning, we need to use an analogy. Although we may get information via the internet to our computer, we still have to plug the computer into the electricity supply to get it to run energy. So whilst information pours in by our higher spirit and gets distributed all over our body by the meridians and nadis, something still has to keep the computer, that is our body, going. And that something is the chakras. See the chakras and flowers video. So chakras and acupuncture, acupressure points, together provide a way of manipulating and channeling energy. So what then is the other meaning of the well? The well as Sushumna. The well is symbolically our spine with its hollow center. 
traditional Chinese medicine then uses the term marrow, meaning the centre of the spine, and drawing water from the well is then pulling energy up the spine in the manner of an entirely controlled, and this is key, Kundalini experience. Thus, the energy being pulled up is Sushumna, the middle of the three energy flows, Ida, Pingala and Sushumna. Where the energy is uncontrolled, it can spurt out in all directions and may be symbolically treated as a fountain, and it will give you the sort of spiritual experience that may either leak in all directions or blow your hat off, or as Jack found out, knock your crown off. Jack and Jill Jack and Jill is an old English nursery rhyme. And these rhymes for children, and thus apparently innocent, were used to code the methods by which one gained enlightenment. So, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Jack got up and home did trot as fast as he could caper to old Dame Dob, who patched his knob with vinegar and brown paper. So, to partly decode, Jack, aspiring mystic, and Jill, aspiring high priestess, together use manipulation of energy in an attempt to invoke a Sushumna Kundalini experience by drawing water energy up the well of the spine. The bird they were perhaps a dash too ambitious and pulled up an entire bucketful which served to blow his crown chakra all over the place. Realising they might have done some damage, they went back to Dame Dob. Dobbin was an old English name for a horse. See the video. As such, they went back to a lady who could symbolically ride horses, a healer, incorrectly labelled a witch, to be patched up who, well, did the best she could. Let us leave it there. And the moral of this story is, don't use manipulation-based techniques unless you have been taught how to handle them. Otherwise, you could end up blowing your top knot off. As in the tower. Kijong Kijong is the Chinese equivalent of yoga, with roots in Chinese medicine, philosophy and martial arts. Qi is energy, but very few know it has a set of spiritual practices intended to lead to enlightenment that include Shi So Ching, marrow brainwashing, which is related to the Kundalini experience and is a companion technique to Yi Jin Ching, muscle tendon changing. Yi Jin Ching is used to generate the energy Qi used in Shi So Ching. And the two techniques have been used by Chinese Buddhist monks and Taoists for over a thousand years. We have provided links in the video description to help you find more detail. Well dressing, a final thought. We have a video on the Hope Valley, a sacred site. And nearly all the villages in the valley decorate their wells in a celebratory festival called Well Dressing. Practically every old well is decorated. And this simply adds more evidence to that already accumulated that this was a site of considerable importance at one time. And we have used photos of some of the wells and people making their decoration in this video. <laughs>